Hello, welcome back to Two Guys from Rejoice. I'm Adam. I'm Steve. And we're here to share again with you this week uh, from God's Word. And uh, as we were studying this week, we've been looking at Hebrews uh, chapter 6. And we wanted to share uh, really a, a verse that I think gives us a, a great deal of confidence and hope in, in what the future holds. Yeah. You know, as, as believers, why do we... What gives us hope? What, 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 when we have faith, what do we have faith in? And in Hebrews 6, the writer of Hebrews says that our faith is anchored in the promises of God. Now, as I understand promises, a man's promise is only as good as his character. character. If he's an honest man or if he's a dishonest man. And so what do we know about the one making the promise here? Well, the writer of Hebrews tells us this. He says... These two things are unchangeable because it is impossible for God to lie. Um, and I think that is tremendously important here. Because if God cannot lie, it is impossible. By the way, there are some things that are impossible for God. This is one, one of them. Is it's impossible lie. for God to lie. That means his promises, I can count on them. I can live my life on them because... He can't lie. And I think that's really important uh, today. Uh, so as, as we think about the way culture moves and, and the way 2020, right? I really think that ought to be a verb. Uh, and, and the way that that, that has impacted us, uh, there's a lot of turmoil. Right? Yeah. There, there, there's a lot of strife. There's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of fear as a result of all of the stuff that's going on around us. And I... I it is important for us to have some anchor to hang on to. Otherwise, we're just tossed about. Well, I think when we look at a year like this, it is like being on a, a stream or a river that the current is just getting faster and faster and faster. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 it seems like its goal is to take us under. Well, I got an Ozark, uh, Ozark's uh, float trip analogy, right? <laughs> so I grew up in, in uh, kind of south central Missouri uh, floating on the Gasconade River. And I can remember on a float trip with a youth group uh, going underneath the bridge there on, 42, on Highway 42 between Vienna and Bell. And I, the pastor gave an analogy that really has stuck with me for years now. Right? As we went through, he just kind of shipped his, his paddle and we floated on down past the bridge. And he said, if we want to stay close to the bridge, there's only two ways of doing that. The first one is we got to paddle like the Dickens, right? We got to really, really work because it gets swift there. Yeah, yeah. The only other way we can do it is to tie a rope around the bridge, right? To have that anchor. The, the stream, the current wants to move us away from that spot. If we know that that's the place that we need to be and we believe that can, you know, being connected to God is the place that we need to be, then we've only got two choices. Number one, we work and we work and we work and eventually we're going out. to be exhausted. Yeah. Yeah. We're just not going to be able to keep it up. And there are a lot of folks doing that today. Oh, yeah. They're trying every way they can and it's just wearing them out. The but the only way. other way of doing it is to, to tie to that anchor, to hold fast to that anchor. And that's what the writer of Hebrews yeah. tells us. Read that last verse where it talks about that, Adam. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain where Jesus, who went before us, has entered on our behalf. We've got an anchor that's going to hold fast. It is, it is our hope of eternity. Yeah. It is the difference between life and death in, in an eternal sense. And if Jesus is capable of going into the Holy of Holies, there's an Old Testament analogy yeah. there. All right, If he's able to go behind the curtain into the Holy of Holies, then he has the authority and the, the, uh, the knowledge to be able to keep us where we need That's to be. Right. And the cross becomes the anchor. Yes. It's what holds us in place. When everything's crashing around you, remember Jesus. Anchor your faith there. Trust in the promises of God. Do not move away because it is impossible for God to lie. That's the anchor you need for your soul. That's what will keep you upright, immovable, above water. Anchor yourself in the promises of God. We hope that's an encouragement to you. It's something that we have staked our lives on. Right. We, we really believe that, and we pray that you would do the same. Thank you for your time, and uh, hopefully uh, you have a good week. Until next time.